In this video I assume you know how to create reports in Access. If you don't, you should really buy this CD-ROM. It has more than 1500 slides and here is the section reporting tools. How do you make reports? Filters report, calculated reports, etc. You can find it at genesispc.com. I also assume that you know how to work basically with VBA in Access. If not, I would recommend highly this CD-ROM. It tells you how to make VBA code and it tells you all the ins and outs of it. So I assume that you know the basics of it. So what are we going to do in this video? Um, in this case I have three reports. I started the name with RPT, so I know these are my own reports. And I have a bunch of tables, but I made a form that shows all the reports we have in this thing. And then I can click on one of those reports and it's going to send an email for the report you have selected there. So what is behind this button, how you make this kind of things, again I ask you to please go here and see how you make forms with subforms. So what is behind this code? I'm going to VBA in that form. When the form loads, I'm going to load what is in that list box, all the reports we have. So uh, that, that box is called LST reports. The row sort types is a value list. The row source is empty. I empty it from previous settings. So I can start a new fresh list each time I open the form. And then I run through all the reports in the current project dot count minus one everything in access vba is zero base so the first report is zero and the last one is the number of reports minus one then i store in s name the name of the first report the second one etc 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 if the left three characters of that name is rpt that means it's my own report then add that S name to the list reports add item. Next I. That's the subroutine. Now when we click on the button, I call that button CMD, command button, send email, click. How you make that kind of buttons? I suggest that you go to my CD-ROMs. I need a few variables. If nothing is selected in list reports, then exit the sub. Then I create a label, again colon, I will show you very soon why I did that. I ask for an input box, what is the email address we are talking about, and I store that in S address. I, I check that that address is correct, otherwise we will be in trouble. I check with the instring function in S ad address, whether there is an add sign. If it doesn't find that, if that is zero, then go to, again, go to that label and do it again, the input box. Or if I don't find a dot in there, if the instring function says, no, I didn't find one zero, go to again. Then I store an S subject the word report for the email. For whom is this report? I use from S address the left function based on find the add sign. At what position is the add sign? Minus 1 if that is at position 15. Then I want the left 14 characters. And then I ask the user, do you want a text version or a PDF version of that report? If they say yes, then we are going to send a text version. So I say to that input box, I give you two buttons, yes or no. If they say yes, they want a text version. So we use the do command, dot send object, AC send report, which report, whatever you had chosen in list reports. 
of the text type, use as address, then go for as subject, and I say attached is a copy of list reports. I, I split, this is one long line, but I split it in two pieces, so you can do that by space underscore enter. And then I do a do events command for that sending object may take a little time to process. So I don't want to do anything else until that is done. Else I send you a PDF version. I use send, send object again. But this time the only difference is AC format DF versus AC format TXT. The rest is basically the same. Do events. And if. And then I added uh, one more feature, which you like your own PDF copy on your machine. I give the user two options, yes or no. If they say no, I don't do anything. If they say yes, I open the report with the do command. Which report? List report. AC view preview. And then I mimic as if I were sending shift F10. Shift F10 closes the menu. The plus stands for shift. F10 is the keystroke. So I'm going to do a send keys command. And then we call for the export menu. You do that with the E key. So send keys E, and then we call the PDF file option, which is the P command in access, and if and end sub. Let's test it. So here is my form. Let's say I want to send the report suppliers. Send email for the report selected above. What is the email address? I'm going to make a fake email address. Okay. The text version, let's say yes for now. And it opens me a, for me ALL. It, the subject is report. The report text a t table suppliers. If you want to see what that thing looks like, this is what it looks like. It's a text version for people who don't have the PDF option. I'm not going to send it, of course. So this time I'm going to do another send. This time I'm going to do a PDF version. And here is the report. I'm going to open it just to see what it looks like. This is the PDF version. It looks much better than a text version, of course. I'm going to send it. Then it asks, would you like to make your own PDF copy? I'm going to say yes. And it's going to ask me, where do you want to store that? And this is the report it's going to store. So if I want to see that one, there is that report on my desktop. As I told you already, you may want to know more about Access. You may want to more and more about VBA in Access. You can find all of this at genesispc.com.